so we're here to talk about Tribo! That's right. I've never been to Tribo, so it's been how long since the last Tribo? A couple year break. Uh, it's been four years. It's been four years. We okay. took four years off. We've graduated from college now. We're ready to go back. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. Uh, Tribe Regional ran for seven years in North Carolina. I was living in Hipster Haven, Asheville for all those years. And so um, I ran it close to there in the you know, adjacent cute foresty town, Mount Town. Uh, and now that I am here and I've reestablished my roots as being based in Richmond, Virginia, uh, I wanted to bring Tribe Regional back and have it close to here where my uh, more immediate community is. So of course I hope that all my North Carolina folks will still come on up and Georgia folks, but uh, you know, I realized also that so many of the people who were in love with Tribe Regional and were coming, were actually coming from this area. When I came to Richmond, I was like, I won't know anybody or I'll know everybody because uh, I knew folks Rich from Jesus. Lynchburg and DC and Blacksburg and, and, uh, and Norfolk. Like a tremendous amount of our support and the lovers of the event were already here. So really in some ways, although we're moving the event, it's also kind of like it's coming home to the people who were originally supporting it anyway. Uh, so that's exciting. So it's gonna be in Charlottesville, Virginia, which is sort of the hipster haven nearest to here. Uh, it's a beautiful town and um, it is on a children's summer camp site uh, that is within driving distance of a manageable town. So in this case, it's Charlottesville, which is great. So I'm excited about that. Uh, it's also the, the site is really interesting because of course it will be in a different um, different location. Uh, what I'm looking for always in these events is, you know, a big main space where we can have classes and all eat together and have Hoffman style shows and everything. Uh, some water, so there is a lake, and there's walkable trails, there's you know, big campfire spaces and the cabins for people to sleep in. These cabins are actually much nicer than any cabin we've ever had. Yay! So that's really great. They've got air conditioning, they've got heat, they've got ultra modern showers. So it's, although you are sharing a room with your friends, it is not like camping. It is going to summer camp uh, for glamping. dancers. And, yeah, it's glamping for <laughs> dancers and musicians. And things. So finding a facility that is as excited about hosting us as we are about using their place is part of the magic and alchemy of finding this kind of event where they don't have noise limitations or religious limitations that make it hard for us to do our thing, dietary limitations. So we have found a place. They have no... When I said, well, we're here to do world dance, specifically belly dance, and they said, oh, we love belly dancers. And I was like, yes, yeah. And thanks to our Virginia belly dancers who have done a good job of establishing uh, that this is a worthwhile and empowerment-based art form. You made it possible for us to do this event here. So the facility is excited to have us. Uh, so the sleep part should be actually be quite a bit nicer than we've ever had before at Tribe Original. And the food, we have a uh, cooking staff that lives in Charlottesville and they are totally up for uh, meeting everyone's dietary needs. Like they are well versed in coping with uh, meeting the needs of vegans, meeting the needs of people who need to be gluten free. I myself am now nightshade free. So they, uh, they feel prepared to meet all of our needs, which food is a big part of the adventure of Tribe Original. They are very committed to using locally sourced stuff, and for folks who live in Virginia, Charlottesville is where all of the, it's where the kombucha comes from, it's where all the, you know, the locally sourced grandma, grandpa, apple orchard stuff comes from. The so, wine? And the wine. <laughs> uh, we hope that we will be able to have uh, wine tastings as part of the event for folks who would like to combine uh, their carousing with culture. <laughs> We will work at Tribe Original to make sure that you have the kind of lodging that's going to work best for you, your troop, your family unit. So some of the options that we have are quiet cabins, party cabins for people who would like to stay up a little later, uh, female-only cabins, co-ed cabins, family-oriented cabins. We want to make sure that, to the very limits of our ability, that we will make sure that all of your needs are met.